Welcome to Disability Arts International's Theatre and Dance Picks for Edinburgh Festival Fringe 2017. This year the Fringe celebrates its 70th anniversary. In that time it's gone from the margins to the mainstream and then beyond by embracing different voices and championing challenging work. This year is no different, so here is just a selection from the Theatre and Dance programme. First up, Grey Eye Theatre Company's Cosmic Scallies. Grey Eye Need Little Introduction as one of the UK's finest disabled-led companies. Cosmic Scallies is a brand new play by Grey Eye's Right to Play graduate Jackie Hagan, premiering at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe. Expect a gritty but witty tale of working class life in Selmersdale. Amit Sharma directs, building on the success of Solid Life of Sugar Water, which last year completed a run at the National Theatre. Frozen Light Theatre specialise in making productions which are accessible to audience with profound and multiple learning disabilities. Their latest show, Home, is a multi-sensory journey of discovery and friendship. The show is part of the British Council's Edinburgh Showcase, the selection of the very best of British contemporary performing arts at the Fringe, now in its 20th year. Caroline Bowditch and Company presents Snigel and Friends, an interactive dance show for the Fringe's very youngest visitors and their grown-ups. Bowditch is known for her joyous choreography, with her 2014 Fringe show Falling in Love with Frida winning a Herald Angel Award. Snigel and Friends sees her donning a shell, joined by fellow dancers and performers in a colourful feast for under ones. Tourette's Hero returns to the Fringe as part of the British Council Edinburgh Showcase with an adaptation of Samuel Beckett's Not I. Having won a Total Theatre Award for Best Emerging Company for its 2014 show Backstage in Biscuitland, the company went on to tour nationally and internationally. This production will present Beckett's classic play through Jess Tom's unique neurology in a show which promises to explore neurodiversity and questions about who is allowed to perform. All performances are relaxed, allowing the audience to make noise and move around. Silent Faces were one of the breakthrough acts from 2016's Brighton Fringe, with their darkly comic physical theatre piece, Follow Suit. The show follows four high flyers in the strangest office you've ever seen, using nothing but movement, facial expressions and a smattering of words to satirise the equally absurd world of high finance. As Silent Faces say themselves, this is business, but not as usual. Ridiculousness, winners of a Total Theatre Significant Achievement Award, have in recent years garnered a reputation for a transformative approach to mental health issues. Give Me Your Love explores the radical treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder using MDMA through the story of two old friends, one a veteran of the Iraq War. This provocative piece leaves audiences gripped in suspense as ridiculousness walk the line between the sublime and ridiculous throughout. Fresh from shows in Melbourne, Liz Carr, star of BBC's Silent Witness, brings her TED Talk show with show tunes, Assisted Suicide the Musical, to the Fringe as part of the British Council's Edinburgh Showcase. This show is full of glitz, mischief and fiendishly catchy songs as Carr tackles this thorny issue from a rarely seen perspective. One of the highlights of Unlimited Festival 2016, it returned to the South Bank Centre by popular demand. This is one not to miss. Mind the Gap are one of Europe's leading learning disability theatre companies. This year they bring Mia, Daughters of Fortune, to the Fringe, packed full of sketches, dancing and multimedia elements. It explores the taboo around learning disabled people being parents, examining both the facts and the myths with humour and sincerity. Through the show's four learning disabled performers who switch roles effortlessly, this weighty but overlooked topic is deftly presented with a light and personal touch. And finally, Dan Dorr is an internationally renowned performer who has worked with a host of leading companies including Scottish Dance Theatre and Kanduko. Directed by Graham Aidy, On One Condition draws on Dan's lived experience of disability by inviting the audience to share some of his most intimate formative moments in a swirling performance, mixing dance and theatre. Having recently won Best Theatre in the 2017 Adelaide Fringe Weekly Awards, On One Condition asks us to question our own perceptions of normal while offering a stripped-back look at the world we live in. And that's it for Disability Arts International's Pick of Edinburgh Festival Fringe 2017.
We've got more information on our website about these shows and more. Hopefully, we'll see you in August in Edinburgh.